you thought I talked a lot about Fenty in my last video? Here's some more! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya and today I'm going to be comparing the three different Fenty glosses. In my previous video, I very briefly talked about the three different glosses. Specifically, I talked about her two newer ones, Diamond Milk and Fussy. Today, I'm actually going to go into much more detail. I'm going to review each one of them. I'm going to swatch them. I'm going to try them on my lips without anything on. And I'm going to try them on with a lip liner. To start, I'm just going to introduce each of the glosses and I'm going to swatch them. Firstly, I'm going to talk about her original gloss, which is the Fenty Glow. It looks like this. So I'm going to swatch it really quickly. This one is the very first one she released. It's supposed to suit every skin tone. That's what it looks like. It's really nice and reflective. It doesn't look like too much on the lips, which you guys are going to see in a minute when I apply it. But it's a really nice rose gold nude shade that suits every skin tone. So the next one came out last year and it's the Diamond Milk. So this is what it looks like. Very, very different from the Fenty Glow. It's completely different color. It's white, as you can see. And it's also very, very glittery. So I'm going to do a swatch right now. So that's a swatch next to the Fenty Glow. And as you can see, there is quite a lot of glitter compared to the Fenty Glow that's more of a reflection. This one is very, very glittery. And her very latest one is Fussy, and this is what it looks like. So, really, really pretty pink shade. It's more similar to her original one, Fenty Glow, so it's quite reflective but doesn't have too much glitter in it. I'll swatch it for you guys now. Alright, there we go. So that's Fenty Glow, Diamond Milk, and Fussy. So, as you can see, really nice reflection, not as much glitter as Diamond Milk, um, and a really nice pink shade, which I'm a huge fan of. So right now, I don't have anything on my lips except for lip balm. I'm going to try each of them on, and then later I will also do the same thing, but with a lip liner. We're starting out with Fenty Glow. So here is Fenty Glow applied. Let me just get closer so you guys can really see. <laughs> so as you can see, it is quite natural. It doesn't look like it's too much on the lips at all. It gives a little bit of a hint of color, but nothing extreme. Really nice and reflective and definitely not too glittery at all. But yeah, here we go. So Fenty Glow is off and now I'm going to try Diamond Milk. So this is Diamond Milk. As I mentioned in my previous video, Without lip liner or lipstick, it just looks like pure white glitter. So, not a favorite of mine on its own, to be honest. But it is quite pretty still. It just looks better with a lip liner, as you guys will see in a minute. Okay, so I took off Diamond Milk, but you guys can still see some specks of glitter that are left behind and that's what I mean it is a very very glittery gloss compared to the other two so just keep that in mind if you're going to get that one okay so last one is fussy I'm going to try it on for you guys now okay so this is fussy This one is very, very similar to the Fenty Glow, as you guys can probably see. The only real difference is that it is a little bit lighter, it has more of a pink sheen to it compared to the Fenty Glow that I would say is a little bit more rose gold. 
It is really beautiful though. I really like this one. So yeah, now I'm going to try all of them on again, but with a lip liner. The lip liner I picked out is Whirl by MAC. The reason I picked Whirl from MAC is because I feel like everyone has this one in their collection, either the lipstick or the lip liner. So it will really give you guys a good indication of what it might look like with a popular lip product. Okay, so there's well applied. This might not be the best lip line application you guys have seen, but it's okay because we're just going to put a gloss on top. I'm going to start out with Fenty Glow like I did before. Okay, here's Fenty Glow applied on top of MAC Whirl lip liner. There's nothing much I can say about it. It's still really pretty like it was before, but the lip liner gives it a little bit more color. So now I'm going to show you guys what Diamond Milk looks like on top of the lip liner, and you're going to be really surprised. Okay, guys. How pretty is this? Isn't it amazing what a lip liner can do? So as I said in my previous video, this is so pretty on top of a lip liner or a lipstick. As you guys can see, it is so different to what it looked like before I applied anything. So before it just looked really glittery and white. But the lip liner gives it a little bit of color and it's so beautiful, very shimmery if you guys are into that. I usually wear this combination when I'm going out because it looks so stunning in photos. So like I said, don't be threatened by this. Just use it on top of a lipstick or a lip liner. The last one is Fussy. And this is what Fussy and Max Whirl look like together. I usually don't wear this with a lip liner, but when I do, I do actually wear it with Whirl because I think they're such a good match. They're really similar shades, so they go really nicely together. This just enhances the color of Whirl. So now I'm going to get into my final thoughts. If I had to rank these three, I would go Fenty Glow as number one, Fussy as number two, and Diamond Milk as number three. The reason for this is because I think you can't go wrong with the original. It suits everyone. Every single person I've seen try on this lip gloss, it looks amazing on them. When I used to work at Sephora, this is the one lip gloss I would recommend to every single person out there because you just can't go wrong with it. And every time I showed people this lip gloss and they tried it on, they would end up buying it. So if you guys only want to get one and you're not sure which one to get, I would always go for the Fenty Glow. You just can't go wrong with it. Like I said, it will suit you 100%. I can guarantee it. So I ranked Fussy as number two because it is very similar to the Fenty Glow. Um, but the reason it's number two and not number one is because of the shade. I don't mind it. I really like the light pink shade that this comes in, but I find that... It doesn't look as good as the Fenty Glow. It doesn't suit every makeup look like the Fenty Glow does. When I'm in a rush and I don't have time to pick out the perfect lip color for the look I'm going for, I always reach for the Fenty Glow because no matter what, it will look amazing with it. I mean, this one is also nice, fussy, like I said, but it's pink. So it's not, I find it's not as versatile as this nude shade, which is the Fenty Glow. And lastly, Diamond Milk comes in at number three. The reason being is, as you saw, when you wear it on its own, it is a little bit too much. It doesn't look that great, in my opinion. I think it's too shimmery and I think it looks way too white on my lips. But on top of a lip liner, this is absolutely stunning. And like I said, when I go out, this is the one I go for every time. However, like I said, if you're only choosing one, I would go for either the Fenty Glow or Fussy. Fenty Glow being number one. But other than that, a Fenty Gloss is something that everyone needs to have in their collection. They're not sticky, they're super moisturizing, and they're so easy 
to apply on the go. I have one of these in my bag all the time because I can literally apply them without a mirror. So I hope this comparison was helpful for you guys and I hope you have a little bit more insight into the different Fenty glosses and you know which one you want to pick. I would love to hear your thoughts if you've decided on which one you're going for. Comment it down below and if you already have one I would also love to hear which one you have. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like. If you're not already, please follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of different makeup looks on there if you're curious to see. So I will have the link for that down in the description below. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!